Come on, guys, toughness plays now. We need toughness plays. Now on America East on campus, he's the newest head coach in America East. See and hear how Pat Chambers gets his points across to the Terriers. Good job, Corey. Breaking into the top 25 was just the latest success story for the Vermont women. How Hartford has made them better and vice versa as those two make a push to both make it to the NCAA tournament. In best of view, from Cameroon to UNH, graduating in just three years and finishing a hoop career is just the start for Radar Ungwetu. That's my goal, like create structure where I come from and make sure that people use their talent to have access to something bigger. And some of the top student athletes from around America East share their thoughts on what's most important to them, sportsmanship. All now on America East on campus. From the University of New Hampshire in Durham, we welcome you to the latest edition of America East on campus. We're inside Lundholm Gymnasium here on a game day as the Wildcats take the court. Welcome to the show, I'm your host, Eric Free. Last time around on On Campus, we touched on the academic success here at UNH for the student athletes. And that success has been seen on the court and on the fields as well here in Durham. The soccer team's always competitive, track and field always competing for an America East championship. And they're hoping to compete for championships here in men's and women's basketball as well. Without further ado, let's check in on men's and women's hoop in America East with our Hoop Notebook. Takes it in Holland. Gets it. The first big showdown of the conference season was a win for Vermont. The top two teams in the preseason poll, BU and Vermont, met at Patrick Gym and the Catamounts rolled to an easy win. Up by 32 points at one point, they fired the first shot of the season. The rematch is February 9th at Aganis Arena. After a brutal non-league schedule and a couple of bumps in conference play, Hartford got to work and turned things around, starting with a road win at UMBC. They hope to continue building right through when they host the championship in March. Well, it's certainly in the back of everybody's mind. It's the way you start your season. It's about uh, how you're playing in March and late February. And uh, we've got a lot of time. And, and all we can do right now is uh, day by day get better at one or two things and, uh, and keep you know, correcting what's wrong and, and reinforcing what's right and uh, just trying to find uh, the right thing to make it all click for us. There will be plenty of volatility throughout the season. UNH is a team that's already had its share of ups and downs, but there's optimism in Durham. We're not that far off. Um, and I think what our team has to do is we've got to do a better job of just every next game. I think, because I think that's how this league is right now. I think everybody you play, if you play well, you can beat. If you don't play well, you can lose. And I think that's kind of the situation we're in right now in this league. On the women's side, Vermont made big news last week. For the first time since 1993, they made an appearance in the AP Top 25 poll. Last year's conference champions are positioning themselves for a repeat run. Filling those pieces that we might have lacked last year, and we also have extra experience from last year going to the NCAA tournament with the returners that are back this year. But at the same time, we're young, which actually brings some excitement because they, they're eager, they want to they want to play, they want to do well for us. So. Even though we have six young kids, they're, they're all great and they definitely help us out in different ways. The day they made it into the top 25, the young Boston University Terriers spoiled the party. Doesn't look like a rebuilding year, but a reloading year on Com Ave. It was a slow start for Binghamton. Picked to finish third in the preseason poll, the Bearcats have the firepower to keep up with the top teams in the league. This team is still growing and this team is still young if you if you look at the you know the players that are you know really leading the way for us and uh, you know it's just a process for us. I, you know I don't think our kids um, have lost faith at all and you know lost in their abilities of what they're doing but you know they have to learn how to come out and, and compete every night you know whether we're at home or we're on the road. Carlos, you're in one, one, two, three, four, five. All right. More basketball after the break on America East on campus. Pat Chambers is in his first year as BU's head coach. He's mic'd up on a game day so we can listen in. Great job, Jake. Great job. Great job. 